So recently, Disney has released their new movie, Wish, and I thought it's pretty good. But some people don't really like it. And I don't know why. And one of those people is uh, this YouTuber named Beanie Brian. And I am so fucking sick of people hating on Wish. It's like everywhere I go, someone's like, oh, I Wish sucks, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, where's the love, man? So I think it's about time I defend this movie, starting with Beanie Brian's review. So our movie begins with a pretty cool reference, a nod to the opening sequence to their first ever animated film, Snow White. But they did leave out the two minute window where they give credit to the animators and staff, plus a heartfelt message from Walt. But that was a time when Disney actually cared about their shit. So the reason why they didn't do an opening credits like they did way back when is because it would just take too long. There's so many people you have to credit now for, like, CG animation and stuff. There's so many people they employ. If they didn't open in credits, it would just take way too long. People would just be like, oh, my God, get on with the movie. So that's why they didn't do it. Oh, boy. I sure do hope the other references and Easter eggs later in the movie are subtle and organic and stays in line with the movie's theme and not at all feels forced and distracting most of the time. Right? Right? Disney? 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 Why would you expect the references to be subtle? And why is that a bad thing? It, like, it's the 100th anniversary. People knew what they were getting into when they were watching this movie. They were expecting to, like, be reminded of what they love about Disney, and that includes the references. And just like that, we're off to our first song, Welcome to Rosas. Why do you always roll your R's? You know you don't have to do that. Apart from it still looking unrendered as fuck. It's not unrendered. Okay, this movie is supposed to be combining 2D with 3D. So it's supposed to look like that. It's supposed to be shell-shaded. So fucking pay attention. The fact that Disney crammed in seven people to be in Asha's crew when they only had two working characters clearly just showed that they never intended to have that many people in the friend group in the first place. Other than Dahlia and Simon, the rest of the circle were just there for the sake of being there. Solely existing for the people to reference the seven dwarves fun fact. So basically what he's saying is that not all of the characters in Asha's friend group had to be there. But... That's where I disagree, because I'll, not every supporting character needs loads of screen time. You know, I, take, take for example, um, the Radiator Springs townies from Cars. Now, in that movie, the characters that actually uh, did stuff and were important to the story were Mazer, Sally, and Doc Hudson. Now, characters like Ramon, Luigi and Guido, Flo, Sarge, Fillmore, blah, blah, blah. Um, they didn't really have to be there, but they were in the movie anyway. Because if they weren't, people would be like, why is this town so barren and lonely? There's like nothing here. See, that they have those characters there to populate the town, or else Radiator Springs will be even more lonely than it already is. So that reason applies to Wish, where it um, makes the cast bigger and feels more lively. I mean, come on, guys. As if I'd remember Gabo, or Hal, or Bazima. No! Oh, okay, so you want to make fun of Bazima, huh? All right, it's fucking on. Okay, Gabo is short and annoying. Bazima's adorable. And how... Okay, you got me there. I do think she's kind of bland. This scene right here has got to be one of the most lazy, half-assed, and embarrassing exposition dumps I've ever come to witness my entire life. 
Well, what did you expect them to do? They have a lot of information. It has to be delivered somehow, in some way, okay? It's no big deal. You're making a mountain out of a molehill. During the interview, Asha would go off trail and would start talking about her dad. Who is, guess what, drumroll please. That's right, dead. Okay, I want you to keep this dead father thing in mind because I'm going to bring it up later. Oh, here's the clip that's gotten people all riled up. So, I will give him this. He's actually defending the movie. So, um, thank you, Brian, for doing this. The scene was demanding for Magnifico to grant everyone's wishes and how it's unfair that they're not getting what they want, which is blatantly not what Asha is saying in this call. All Asha was saying was to have the wishes go through a moderating system where those who are innocent and harmless yet vague like Sabas can be returned. Does this feel familiar, Sukina? My wish. <laughs> they get crushed. Oh, Mama? Hmm. Oh no, her wish! What's gonna happen? We've never seen a wish get destroyed before! <gasps> is she gonna die? Fucking kill her! What the hell is wrong with you? Just a minute ago, you were disappointed that her father's dead, and now you're saying you wish that they killed her mother? Okay, you can't have one or the other. Make up your fucking mind! And we get another musical number. <laughs> pretty catchy, the beat is pretty epic, and they do a good job making it sound like they're ready for battle. Though they never really fight anyone. But with that said, this entire number is flat out a waste of time. You know what? Why is it whenever you say something positive, you always follow it up with something negative? There's like no pleasing you. Asha and Star have been spotted in the forest. Is that so? Sound the trumpets, Amaya. I'll bring back the girl and the star. Okay. We must work quickly. And quietly! <laughs> That's your big plan? To tell him that you found Asha in the forest and hope to God he leaves? He's the king! He doesn't even need to leave the room! He has knights for that shit! What did you think that he was gonna do? That he was gonna grab a horse and run off to the forest all by himself? And that's exactly what he fucking did, didn't he? Okay, some of the things I said might be like a little bit exaggerated of how I actually feel. But this... This, what he says right here, is not a valid criticism at all, because that is not what happened. If you would play this, play the movie out, you would know that that's not actually Magnifico going after Asha, it's Simon in disguise, okay? So you have no right to complain right here. Uh... Okay, so at this point, I'll be completely honest here i have no idea what magnifico is trying to accomplish here i thought he just wanted star and to get rid of asha but the moment he has both he kind of just loses his mind he starts to ramble about not allowing hopes and dreams and starts to take the people of rosas hostage i i don't know why he would do that bro they were on your side a second ago so he's a villain and by definition a villain is like mentally unwell so you know it's like you said he's losing his mind so he doesn't really care about what he's doing he doesn't really think about it he just knows that he's in control and he's just doing whatever he wants right now so with the movie just about to wrap up let's listen in to what disney has to say with the last sentence of the movie that's celebrating their 100th anniversary Star, how can we ever thank you? That's easy. Just keep wishing. <laughs> huh? That's the note you want to end on? Just keep wishing? Just keep wishing. That's it. Just keep wishing. You're not going to end with the Walt Disney quote? That's it. Just keep wishing. Okay. Are you serious? That's the theme of the movie. The theme of the movie is wishing and like wish after wish and that's a wish and that's a wish. There's wish all over the movie and you expect them not to mention wishes in the goddamn ending. And you know what? You know what? And that is something, a trait that is going on 
out of all the Disney movies, all the Disney characters have wished for stuff. Like, ever since the beginning, Snow White, she wished for the prince and stuff like that. You know, like, what do you expect? B. Damn, you couldn't even make it look like the castle from the logo. Okay, at this point, you're just nitpicking. Anyway, uh, that's my video. If, uh, if you want to see uh, some more love for Wish, uh, follow me on Instagram at Monster Jambroni. And uh, that's the video. Goodbye.